Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we are doing another TBR video but it's going to be a little bit different from my other ones and I'm very excited about it. I actually didn't make a February TBR video so I'm very excited to get back into it and choose my next TBR for March because I missed doing these videos but today's gonna be a little bit different because I've been doing a lot of the same prompts in my previous videos even though I would trade them out every once in a while. So I ended up going on Etsy and this girl, her shop is called Buy Instantly Booked. That's the name of her Etsy shop if you guys are interested in these at all, but she had 70 plus prompts to download and so I bought and downloaded these from her shop and just cut them all out. So now I have tons and tons of new TBR prompts, which I'm so excited about. I haven't even read through these because I just want them to be surprised, but I have so many new TBR cards and I'm very excited because we're going to get so many new prompts. I have all Obviously my cart full of books over here. I have a lot of new ones from the past two months that I've bought and obviously some older ones that I haven't read. So I'm very excited to start today's video and figure out the prompts since I haven't read them yet. Also I got these little bows off of Amazon. They came in a pack with like pink, white, black, and blue and I don't know how I feel about them. I think they're cute but I'm not sure like if I look like a child so let me know if you like them or not. Let's just get into figuring out what my March TBR is gonna be. I obviously have a ton of cards in here. I don't know what any of them say so we're just gonna randomly draw from this pile i know they're cards so it's a little bit harder than just like the little prompts i pull out usually but we're gonna make it work let's figure out what the first prompt will be the first one is a book with a cover you don't like. I feel like this is kind of harsh. Like the first one off the bat is a cover that I don't particularly like and I'm not sure what that's gonna be. Okay, I feel like this is such a harsh prompt because I don't hate this cover, but it's definitely not like my favorite cover. It's not a book I picked up because of the cover. So we're just gonna kind of turn it into that. It's probably my least favorite out of the cart, obviously. That's why I'm choosing it, but it's Binding 13. The reason I picked this up was definitely not because of the cover. It's not like a cover that I see and I'm like, oh, I really wanna read that because it's not really giving you much from the cover. Obviously I've heard so many people talk about this and that's the main reason I picked up this book. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not gonna lie, I think I I had this on a different TBR and I didn't get to it. So this is a redemption TBR. So hopefully I can get to it in March. This story is about Johnny Cavanaugh. He's like this hotshot rugby player at Tommen College. His main focus is like being an athlete and being focused on that. So he doesn't need any distractions in his life. But then obviously comes along a girl. He then meets Shannon who transfers to Tommen College like halfway throughout the year because she needs a fresh start in her life. She has a lot of demons in her past. So she just wants a fresh start and somewhere to do that so she comes to Tom in college and obviously she meets Johnny they form a friendship and then obviously end up having chemistry so we'll see what happens with this I heard this is a lot like darker than maybe I would have predicted so it'll be interesting but I know a lot of people love this book so I'm excited to start this series and kind of see how I feel about it but first book for a March TBR is going to be Binding 13. Prompt number two okay number two is a book you're scared to pick up this is a really good one because I feel like there's a lot of books that I'm always scared to pick up whether that's because I have high expectations for it or I just don't really know what to expect so let's see what I have I think the one I'm going to pick for this prompt is One Dark Window because this is probably not the type of book I would usually gravitate towards but my best friend read this book and obviously a lot of other people have read it too and loved it so so much so I feel like it's one I need to pull but again like it's not my typical kind of read I'm typically more of a romance thriller kind of delving into fantasy reader so that's why I'd say I'm kind of scared to pull this one just because I don't know anything about it and I don't even know if I'll like it but we're gonna pull this because of the prompt. So this book is about Elspeth Spindle. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It basically says that she needs a monster and he protects her and keeps her secrets but it doesn't come for free because obviously why would it? It says when Elspeth meets a mysterious highwayman on the forest road her life takes a drastic turn. Thrust into a world of shadow and deception she joins a dangerous quest to cure blunder of the dark magic infecting it. Except the highwayman just so happens to be the king's own nephew, captain of the most dangerous men in blunder and guilty of high treason. So again, like I just don't really know what this is going to be about even from the back. So we'll see how I like it, but I've heard great things. So hopefully this one turns out well. A book I'm scared to pick up is definitely this one. This is going to be our second book on our March TBR. Book number three. 
Let's see. We have a sports romance. This is definitely one of my favorite tropes ever. I'm like a sports romance girly through and through, and I'm pretty sure I already know which one I'm gonna pull. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna pull Pucking Around for this. It's a hockey romance, and that's probably one of my top favorite tropes ever. I don't know why I have nothing about hockey in my past. I've never grown up around hockey, but hockey romances are my all-time favorite. I love them. Out of all the sports romances, definitely my favorite. And I've heard good things about this book. I picked it up recently, so I'm very excited to read it. So this book is about Rachel Price. She ends up having this one night stand with this guy and they basically move on, never see each other, talk to each other again until Rachel lands this 10 month fellowship for this new NHL hockey team called the Jacksonville Rays. And he just happens to be on this team and she is his physical therapist, but he ends up like not even recognizing her. That turns out terribly so he tries to kind of like win her back but there's also other hockey players that find attraction to her and want to get her basically so we'll see how this turns out i'm very excited again this is like one of my favorite tropes ever so whenever it says hockey romance you know i'm just gonna buy it immediately hucking around will be the third book for our march tbr book number four is a book published in 2023. I feel like there's a few maybe on here that are published in 2023. I'm gonna have to do like a little bit of digging on my end, but I'm pretty sure Divine Rivals was published in 2023. Like I'm pretty like 90% positive on that one. Never was definitely published in 2023. So was The Other Mothers. Okay, I'm gonna look up Divine Rivals because I'm like, 90% sure that was published in 2023. Yes. Okay. So Divine Rivals was published April 4th, 2023. I'm going to pick Divine Rivals because again, this was one of the most popular books in 2023 and I have yet to read it because if you guys know me, you know, I love to put off popular books that everyone loves, but I've heard such great things. I feel like it's my time now that I need to read this and add it to the TBR. So this says when two young rival journalists find love through a magical connection, they must face the depths of hell in a war between God to seal their fate forever. We'll see as I read more into this what it's all about. If you guys want a reading vlog with this in it, let me know because I know how beloved this book is. So I feel like you guys might want to see my reactions to it when I read this, but I'm excited to add it to the TBR because I know again how popular it is and how much people loved this book in 2023. So I think it's about time to add it. Fourth book of the March TBR is Divine Rivals. Book number five. We have very good picks so far, so let's keep it going. A book with a pink cover. You guys know I love this one. This is one I'll always love because my favorite color is pink, if it's not obvious by everything in my room being pink. So we have a few pink covers. The Night Shift we have, Girl Abroad. The Do-Over is not specifically pink. It's kind of like a white color. I mean, this is kind of red, right? So I feel like between the Night Shift and Girl Abroad. I think I'm going to pull the Night Shift for this because I've had it for a couple months now. It's originally a Wattpad book, actually. I thought the cover was so cute. I've seen it a little bit around Bookstagram, so I figured I would get it. But again, this is like a college bookworm and a basketball player, so we love a sports romance kind of thing. And obviously having the little like book lover in it is so cute and so fun. This book is like pretty short. It's not even 300 pages. So I feel like it'll be good kind of filler in between some of these other books. So I think we're going to go with Night Shift for book number five. Book number six of the March TBR is a book with a person on the cover. We definitely have a few of those. I know immediately what I'm picking, guys. This is the book I'm going to pick. Some of you might have no idea what this book is and some of you may know. And I love that for you guys, if you do know. I've talked about this series a little bit on my Instagram recently, but I read this series called The Click when I was, I don't know, in late elementary probably is the time I read it. I have been wanting this series back in my hands for probably like about a year now. I told Jensen like a year ago that I wanted these books. We looked this series up like a year ago to buy and they were like $200 on resale sites for the whole entire series, which I didn't really want to pay at the time. I was like, I don't, I want the books, but I don't know if I want them that bad to like pay $200 for them. So I recently went to Wisconsin to visit my best friend. She lives there and we went into this small bookstore that she has in her town and I found the click series it was like the greatest moment of my life i was so excited i had been wanting this series for so long it's very nostalgic for me and i ended up picking up the series i did have to order the first two books off of like different sites because i couldn't find the first book in the store with all that being said i now have the full series and i have been wanting to read this series for so 
long. So I'm so excited that I finally have the full series to read. I'm going to do a whole reading vlog on it. I'm not sure if some of you will care, but I feel like there's a few people that have mentioned that they used to read these books too when they were younger. So I think it'd be fun for us to like relive it through my reading. And these have actual people on the covers. That's how like they all used to be, obviously. It's about this girl named Claire. She is recently new to the town. She's originally from Florida and she ends up moving with her family. She ends up going to this private school where these group of popular girls are and she tries to kind of fit in with them. Massey is like the queen bee of the school and Claire is kind of trying to like fit in with them. So it's just very nostalgic for me. So I'm very excited to get into it. I'm very excited to pick this up and this is definitely going on my March TBR because I cannot wait to get to it. Book number seven of March, a small town romance book. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, immediately I'm going to pull Done and Dusted for this. This is a small town brother's best friend romance. Again, I've seen a lot about this on TikTok and Bookstagram and all that, so I've really been wanting to pick it up. I love a cowboy, it's like small town romance kind of vibe. If it's anything like the Chestnut Swing series, I know I will love this. So I've really been looking forward to reading this. This story is about Clementine, also known as M me. She leaves her small town in Wyoming and goes off to college and kind of accomplishes everything that she wants to. But after an accident, I'm pretty sure in horseback riding, she can't do that any longer. So she ends up moving back to her hometown where a lot of her family and friends are still at. But in comes Luke, who is Emmy's brother's best friend. He kind of grew up with their family and always like teased her when they were younger, but he hasn't seen her in years. And they obviously end up forming a connection. So I'm very excited to read about this. Again, I've heard great things and I think it'll be like a quick little read in between some of these other books So I'm excited to add it to the TBR, but book number seven is going to be done and dusted. Book number eight of March let's See a book that ends in an odd number of pages I'm gonna probably pick one that I'm like really wanting to read and see if it ends in an odd number of pages And then we'll continue on from there if it doesn't I'm going to pick the fine print and see if this ends in an odd number I'm not including the epilogue. So it's 427 pages. So it obviously ends in an odd number. I'm gonna pick this one because the first Lauren Asher book I actually read was Love Redesigned that came out recently and I was obsessed with that book. I loved the writing. I thought it went so quickly. It was so easy to follow. I loved the story and the characters. I've heard so many people obviously talk about the Dreamland Billionaire series and I have yet to read it. I skipped right to Love Redesigned. I don't know why. If it's anything like Love Redesigned, I feel like I'm going to eat this book up and this series up. So I'm definitely going to add this one one to the March TBR. This story is about Rowan and Zara. Rowan basically creates theme parks, five-star hotels, like all these magical places basically that people travel to. And Zara ends up submitting a drunk proposal criticizing their most expensive ride and thinks she should be fired. But Rowan ends up offering her like a dream job. I think it's kind of like an enemies to lovers trope if I'm not wrong about that. But again, like I loved Lauren Asher's writing in Love Redesign. So if it's anything like that, I'm going to love this. I'm very excited to read it. So book number eight is going to be The Fine Print. We have two prompts left for our March TBR. So let's see what we get. This one is a book by an author you've read before. I read a few of these authors before. So again, it's kind of going to be my choice of the authors that I have read before. Okay, the book I'm going to pull for this prompt is The Teacher by Frida McFadden because I don't think we have any, yeah, we don't have any thrillers in there right now. And I love a good thriller. So I feel like I need to add one in. And I love Frida McFadden. Fadden so so much. I love her writing. I think her books are great for the most part. There have been some that I've read that haven't been the greatest in my opinion but overall I really love her writing. This is her newest release. It's called The Teacher and again I've heard mixed reviews about it but in a recent video people told me that they really liked it. The ones that have read it so that gives me hope for sure. But this is about Eve. She is a high school math teacher. Last year their school was kind of rocked by this scandal with one of the students named Addie but now Addie is in Eve's class this year. She can't be trusted. She apparently lies about everything, but Eve ends up discovering like this shocking truth about Addie and Addie will do anything to keep her quiet about it. So we'll see how this ends up being. Again, I love Freedom McFadden's writing, so I'm hoping that I like it, but I feel like I need a thriller to kind of mix up into this whole TBR. So we're going to add The Teacher by Freedom McFadden to our TBR. And this is book number nine. The last prompt of March. These have been so much fun. So I didn't know what any of these were going to say. So it's fun finding out what all these prompts are in here. But last 
prompt of March number 10 is a book with a trope that you love. Okay, again, another one that I'm gonna pick. And I kind of know in my head what I'm gonna pick already. This is a queer book and I want to pick this one up because again, I love having like a variety in my TBRs throughout the month. So this is the one I'm gonna pick up. I honestly haven't heard much about it. Again, I was in like a very small bookstore in Wisconsin with my best friend and the owner of the bookstore, I actually pulled this book and she said that it's super, super cute and she loved it. So I decided to pick it up. It's called Read Between the Lines by a Rachel Lacey. This is like an online romance turned to real life. I just really want like a queer trope in there and I love a queer romance. So we're definitely going to add this for number 10 to the March TBR. But those were all of the prompts I'm going to choose for my March TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was so much fun having the new cards and seeing what they all said throughout. So I'm very excited to have these now printed out and I'm excited to be back on the TBR jar grind because I really miss doing February. So we're back now for March. Let me know which one of these books you've read and if you liked it or not because I feel like we have some really good ones this month and I'm excited to have a great reading month. I've really had a great year in reading so far so I'm excited to keep it going but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you.